Hello. Today's lesson is lesson 8-2, and it's called Fact Families with 2, 3, 4, and 5. You know multiplication and division are related. You also know multiplication facts. Today you will learn how to use multiplication facts to solve division problems. The factors are 3 and 4. What are the four number sentences in the fact family? We talked about this a lot today, how these triangles are so cool because you can go in different directions and see all the different fact family problems. Here you've got 3 times 4 equals 12. 4 times 3 also equals 12. 12 divided by 3 equals 4 and 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Here's the kind of problem we did today. Kim is putting 30 toys into 5 party bags. She puts the same number of toys into each bag. How many toys are in each bag? Write and solve a division problem and show your work. So for the picture, um, what we did was just draw circles to symbolize the bags, and then we started putting lines or dots or something to symbolize the toys into each bag. We did that till we had a total of 30, and we did it evenly. We saw that there were six in each. What does the 30 stand for? We talked about the 30 stands for the 30 toys, and we also named the 30. It is a dividend. We talked about what the 5 stands for. It's the 5 party bags, and the 5 is also called the divisor. The 6 stands for how many toys are in each bag, and it's also known as the quotient. Here's another problem. Pause the video if you need to to figure this out. 14 divided by 2 is 7. How about 18 divided by 3? 18 divided by 3 is 6. 36 toys divided into 4 bags is 9. You can check your answer, of course, by using the fact families, changing those numbers around. Instead of 36 divided by 4 equals 9, ask yourself, does 4 times 9 equal 36? Yes, 4 times 9 does equal 36. The answer is right. We talked about the two division symbols that we're going to see in the book today and how they mean the same thing. We talked about where the divisor and the dividend get placed in the division problem. And that was it for today.